Hello there, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for joining me today. Here we are back in Dawn of Man. So this is our early mankind sort of city builder. Um, I'm still learning it. There's there's a lot going on and uh, no doubt I'm messing stuff up already but you know that's part of the fun of playing these games is, is learning how to do everything and making mistakes along the way. Um, so we've got our small settlement here by the river. There's lots of eagles flying around. I don't think I can target them. No, I think they're just they're just sort of there. Oh, hello. Not sure what happened there. Um, so yeah, I've got my people out gathering flint and stones and fish and various wild flowers. Um, I could do with a bit of hunting. Ah, no storage slots. I'll tell you what, I'm going to tell someone to go and hunt this goat. Oh, look at that. He was right on it. Brilliant. Look at that. That was fantastic. First animal hunted. Right, so I now have a bit of knowledge to spend. That's good. Um, my buildings are gradually getting built, so I have my two skin dryers over here now. And then I've got my storage tent, which is still just waiting for a bit more uh, dry skin to be finished. But I now have some knowledge. So there's all sorts of things. So there's bone tools, sling making, food drying, which is... Oh, excuse me. I think that is probably the one I'm going to go for. Dog domestication. Tanning. Um, that's probably quite an important one. And funerary right, uh, rituals. Okay, well, I'm going to go for this one, the food drying, because you can then dry out your food. And um, that makes everything last a lot longer. Okay. So let's have a look at building some of this. Uh, so is this storage? Rock pile, storage tent. Wood pile, no. Production. Ah, here we go. Production. Food dryer. Needs 10 sticks. Okay, well, I've got 9 in stock, apparently. Um, let's get a... Let's get one of these over here. I feel like I want it hanging. Let's just get one of those in there for now. I don't produce that much food. I don't suppose I'm going to need more than one of them for a little while yet. Could definitely do with this storage house getting done. Let's have a look. These have got two skins on each. I've got quite a few skins. I might even build a couple more of these. Skin dryers. Yeah, let's get let's get a couple more of those in. I feel like I want to do lots of hunting. Just have a quick look at my primal vision, see if there's anything around I can hunt. Oh wow, look at all this lot. What have we got here? A boar. Yeah, go hunt a boar. Hunt a couple of boars. I'm kind of hoping these other ones around it don't attack. And look at that, we've got another sheep over here. Let's go and hunt that as well. Lots of hunting to be done there. There's still meat sitting over here. I'm guessing that's because I don't have any storage capacity. Because this still hasn't been built. We're getting there though. Because we're drying our our things here. Dry skin, raw skin. Does that mean that it's finished? <laughs> I'm not sure what these graphics mean. Ah, first structure, food dryer. Good, so we've built our, uh, our food dryer, that's fine. Ah, yeah, so someone, there was a dry skin on there and someone is now taking it over here. That's cool. Oh, look, our storage tent is going to get built. Fantastic. And look, our hunters are going out after these boards by the looks of it. Yeah, he's sneaking out. Oh, don't let it get away. Run, Hunter, run! Yeah, got it. Nicely done. I mean, I feel terrible because I love pigs. But my people need to eat. 
and they need skins. I wonder if we're going to get a bit of both off of this one, I would guess. Oh yeah, two meat and one raw skin. That's cool. Yeah, so we've still got a skin sitting out here, which I, I assume people will just naturally go and pick these things up when they're sitting around. Storage hut is nearly built. What game speed am I running at at the moment? I have no idea. I think double is a good one. So what sort of capacity do I have here? Quite a lot actually, that's good. Yeah, so I can store up to 10 of the same item in each slot, and that's great. So hopefully everything has got room to get stored now. Look, our food dryer is nice and full up. Lots of stuff getting hung up there. Right, let's have a look at building some more residences. go let's get some more tents I don't know how quickly people will come and join my gang uh, but you've got to provide them with tents so at least there's a chance that someone might come along and join me now can I do this now yes because I've got some bones I don't know what this does really but I just like the look of it I just feel like I want one <laughs> I don't know why but I'm gonna put it over here somewhere there we go, let's build that there and see what it does. Does it actually tell me? No. Oh, it just looks cool. That's fine. I'm okay with that. So what else have we got? I think I've built everything that I can at the moment. So there's residence, storage. I've got all three of those. What else do we have? Haystack, storage hut, granary, warehouse. Staddle granary production. I've got all of these things already. So yeah, it looks like more research needs to be done <coughs> to be able to uh, to get any more. I guess some of this stuff here, like dog domestication and uh, what was it? I think tanning is probably the next one I'll go for. That seems to open up quite a few potential things. Let's just see, how do I get knowledge points? When doing actions such as hunting animals, gathering resources, or achieving higher populations. Uh, yeah, got prerequisites, that's fine. Okay, yeah, well let's just take it easy and see what happens. We're building tents, so people will hopefully come and join us. What is this 117%? Workload is high, or people might take a bit longer to complete tasks. Yeah, I've set quite a few things going on at the moment. Still got people gathering stuff, which is important, because I don't have a lot of sticks. Or flint, really, at the moment. It seems to take them quite a long time to do their gathering. Uh, fish as well. Not a lot of people fishing. Oh, we've got an injured, blimey, a cave lion. I'm not messing with that. I'm guessing that is going to be really nasty. Yeah, look at that, very red. Yeah, I'm not going to mess with that. Even though it's injured, I'm still not messing with it. At the moment, I don't want anyone to go hunting. Look, I've got a bit more meat coming back here. Um, I did set both boars. What was it? Two boars I set to be... Uh, to be hunted, didn't I? And I think there was a goat as well. Now I've just thought my meat is set at 10. It doesn't seem to be going up. Um, now how do I set resources? Um, no, it's not this one, is it? It's resource limits. Oh, meat, 100, okay. So I can go, I can go higher, that's fine. I've, I've never seen this meat number go above 10. Actually, she's just bringing a bit of meat back, so let's just watch. No, she drops it off, and it's still only on 10. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, I have to keep an eye on that. And things like sticks as well, I'm assuming the limits on them are high. Production limit is set to 10. No, that's silly. I don't... No. <laughs> just, just no. Why wouldn't I want them gathering more than 10 of these things? I mean, at the moment, they're not getting a chance to have that many anyway. What have I got in my storage tent? Oh, there's a few bits and pieces in there, that's good. I wonder if there's... I don't think there's a way I can look at my people, is there? Yes, there is actually, look. Okay, so I've got elderly people. Animals, attachments. Okay. Ah, look. I have five knowledge points. I'm thinking I'm going to get tanning. Tanning unlocked. Unlocks the tanner, where you can produce leather. Okay, let's have a look at that, shall we? So that will be in production. Tanner, a place to make leather from raw skins. So raw skins is what I make... Oh no, that's when I get hunting, isn't it? Before they become dry skins. Oh, that's interesting. A tanner. Oh, it's a tiny little building. It's a little outside thing. Okay, well that's fine. You can be set up over here somewhere. You can be set up there. We have no fuel. In order to cook food and stay warm, you need fuel. You can use sticks or logs. Ah. Why do I not have sticks? I don't have many sticks. Logs. How do I get logs? I can't chop stuff down yet. Cut down requires tech. Composite tools. Where are composite tools? Bone tools. Composite tools. Okay, so I'm way off of that now. So yeah, I can't gather logs. It's all about sticks. Um, I guess I'm just using a lot of sticks for my building product projects at the moment. So yeah, there's not a lot I can do with that, unfortunately. I need my tents. Although people do also need to stay warm. Can I... I can set that as a high priority. So I guess that will take priority over construction projects. That makes sense, doesn't it? I can also assign an extra person to gathering sticks. I think that's probably a good idea. Is that all I can do? Can I prioritise this thing? Oh, what have we got? Remove work area. Edit work area. Work areas panel. Okay. Required. Dry skin times 10. Knowledge plus 1. Okay, that's good. I'm getting a bit of knowledge. Still lots of construction projects going on. Maybe I've built a bit too much too quickly. But, you know. That's life. I want to expand. Still not getting a lot of people fishing. I guess they're all too busy building. Right, that's the skin dryer nearly done. My second tent is done. Oh, look at this. Workload is very high. What is she off to do now? Gathering flint. Okay. Well, that's fine. I need flint. I've got 16. So I've upped the limit there to 25. So people are going to go and continue gathering these things. I think what I probably need to do is um, maybe reduce the flint to just one at the moment because I need more sticks than I need flint. Apparently this needs some fuel. What are you doing? You're cooking. I wonder what you're cooking. Fish.
Oh look, she's going to be cooking a bit of meat. Okay, I'm running out of food by the looks of it. There's no food hanging up now. Oh, there's one fish. I need to send someone hunting, I reckon. Ah, so what have you gathered? Some fish. Oh, well you, uh, you were out and about uh, fishing. Okay. Right, let's just see if there's anything I can hunt at the moment. Here we go. Let's go hunt that. I've just spotted over here. This looks terrifying. I cannot get used to this camera control. It's all backwards. It's really confusing me. Yeah. A pride of cave lions. I do not want to be anywhere near them, do I? Hopefully I can hunt this deer without catching their attention. Right, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to save my game. Let's get a new save going. Do my usual. There we go. Now, I'm just, just bear with me a moment. I am sure I want to quit. I just want to have a look at these camera controls. Here we go. So it's it's these two that are confusing me. Because they're... I think... I think I like it to be that way around. Let's just get back in and see. It might... might I might be completely wrong. Yeah, that's completely wrong. <laughs> that's now, because now I'm pushing left to turn right. I think. Isn't it weird that how you, you go between games and sometimes a camera control can feel correct and sometimes it, it it's wrong. No, that is right, actually, I think. I think I like it set up backwards like that. Yeah, I think yeah, I think I've got it right now. Actually, um, it makes no sense because I am pushing the right button to mo to to do that to go left. Um, but it just it just works for me. I don't know. I think my, I think my brain's a little bit backwards to be honest. Okay, never mind. It's all good. As long as I can control stuff, then that's fine. Right, my reindeer escaped, which is no good. What have we got here? A boar. Someone go hunt that boar. My people are clearly not very good at hunting. My building is slowly getting out. I've got all four of my skin dryers here now, but I've got um, no skins to dry. Still got two of these waiting, but yeah, they, they can't be done until I've hunted some more stuff. So let's 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 try and get some hunting going. Oh blimey, look at this lot over here. I do not want to mess with them. Is there anything over here? Yes, look, I can kill a horse. Surely I can kill a horse. And we have a deer over here as well. There we go. Let's get those three things all hunted. And hopefully someone will go out and take care of that for me. Oh, a trader has arrived. Hello. I am... Um, okay, I have no idea what to do here. What do we have? Uh, logs. Can I buy some logs? Ah, so this is what I have in stock. Can I sell you some of that? Maybe if I buy some... What else? I don't know what else I need. Ooh, sling making. He could teach me sling making, but that's a uh, 100 value, which I definitely don't want to do. Um, trader training, two logs. Um, I might as well take a fish as well. If I'm trading two flint, I'll take a fish. Actually, do you know what? I'll take more fish. 
and I'll give you some more flint. I've got plenty of flint, I don't mind getting rid of that. There we go. Done a little bit of trading, that's good. So I have some spare stuff now. I have a couple of nice logs there, that should keep our fire burning better. Getting lots of flint. Ooh, where are you taking that log? Got to store it somewhere I guess. Going to the tanner. Oh, why? Does the did the did the tanner need a log? Worker exhausted. Oh, I've run out of flint. Okay, well let's have a look at um, a new flint area, shall we? If there is some flint somewhere. Ah, oh, look, there's a. There we go, there's a flint thing there. Okay, well, that's fine. It's a shame there's not a lot of flint on this map. So, even though I have a lot at the moment, um, it's going to be tricky to keep topping that up. Right, what are you doing? Going to Mars Raw. Okay. What's that? Are you hunting? Am I still trying to kill stuff? Or is that my... No, my town... What is my town called? My town was called Dreamland, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure I have no idea what she's doing. Clothing. Clothing offers your people protection from cold, increases welfare and reduces damage sustained in combat. Skins and wool outfits protect people up to freezing temperatures. It is critical that you have one of these per inhabitant. When it is warm, your people will prefer to wear leather or linen outfits. These increase welfare levels and offer slight protection in combat. A typical way to ensure you have enough clothing is to set outfits to continuous production in the craft and outfit of structures and having a resource limit set to 100%. When the temperature drops below the level of protection clothing offers, the temperature of the person will start to drop. At this point, they will have to seek shelter or they will die of hypothermia. Right, let's have a look at this then. Um, uh, what's wrong with you? Going to get cured meat, right. Ooh, I hunted a wild horse, that's good. My reindeer escaped though. Okay, so. Continuous production is on for leather, so that's good. Um... It needs it needs raw hides, and I don't know what that thing next to the raw hides is because I can't click on it. <laughs> is it just yeah? Oh no, le leather. Okay. Oh, this is confusing. I wish I could just click on that, and you can't. Uh, so annoying. You can't. You can't. The window doesn't stay, so I can't actually see what that is. Um. Okay, never mind. Well, I'm assuming it just needs the leather hides then. Which at the moment, I don't think I have. I don't have much of anything, let's be honest. Um, my hunting is not going particularly well. My buildings are taking forever because I'm not getting any hides. It says I've got two hides, I don't know where they are. Or skins, sorry. Um, yeah, my skins should either be hanging up or or coming over to my tanner. Let's just get rid of that. Yeah, continuous production. Let's do continuous production. He's on, that's fine. So as soon as I've got the right stuff, it will um, it will produce them. Oh dear, it's snowing. My people are gonna start getting cold, aren't they? I hope I've got enough fuel. I've got 14 sticks, so that should be fine. Oh, look. That looks like some leather, doesn't it? Yeah. Right, so you've got a couple of bits of dry skin. So I'm kind of hoping you'll either raw, put them up on here to dry out or um, move them over to here, I hope. What's my workload? At the moment, it's still pretty high. I'm not sure why it's high. I guess I've still got buildings being built. Oh, a storm. Okay, this isn't good, is it? Do I still not have... Um, 
anything good being hunted? I don't. Is there anything around to kill? No, there's really not, is there? Got a reindeer over here, but I keep trying to hunt these and they keep getting away. Never mind, I'll try again. Yet again, my fire isn't on fire. Ooh, nasty storm. Don't like that. Well, at least my people have got shelter. Ah, there we go. I'm drying off some stuff now. I kind of want the uh, the goods to come into here, though. I'm wondering if that's because I've got... Yeah, see, that needs two dry skins. And that needs one. So I'm guessing they're the priority at the moment. Get those buildings done. So I need the dry skins from this. Um, how's my stick production going? Oh, still lots and lots of sticks to pick up over there. That's good. Flint is here. 15 of 15. Yeah, it's not a lot. I don't know where I'm going to get more flint from. Ah, back here. This is flint, I think, isn't it? Yeah, it's a long way away, though. Is someone going to go and hunt this reindeer? Yes, looks like these two are. Nice. Don't let it get away from you again. Go on. Yeah, killed the reindeer. Nice. Right, that should give me something good, hopefully. Yeah, two more skins, two bones, four meat. That's brilliant. That's what I want. Oh my word, what is going on here? The cave lions are attacking me. Did I kill one? How on earth did I kill a cave lion? Oh, I've killed another one. That's just madness. I have no idea how I managed to do that. Oh my god, there's still more of them coming in. Um, I need like a call to arms. People need to just come and and, and help because I'm going to die. Actually, they might just walk through. Look, there's a, there's a woman right here and these cave lines are just wandering through. That's kind of scary. That's great though, that's just given me a whole load of resources that I didn't really expect. So yeah, not going to complain about that. that. That worked out pretty nicely for me actually. I can't gather stone yet, is that right? Gather? Oh, I can gather stone. Okay. I can't mine stone yet. Got a bit more knowledge. Oh, I can research something else now. I'm getting a good supply of sticks now. Flint is okay. Nice. Got some more meat, more fish. Oh, oh wow. It's all coming together actually, isn't it, suddenly? Got a load of stuff sitting up there still, but that's fine. That'll get brought back. Yeah, this, this woman's bringing stuff back. So yeah, it's taking shape, isn't it? Still haven't had anyone working here yet. And there's still a couple of these lions walking around. I can't believe I managed to actually kill a couple of them. I was really expecting them to just come in and destroy my camp. We've got stone there. Is that an option? Sto oh, yeah, look, obtain stone. I don't think I need stone for anything yet, though. And I'm pretty sure I don't have anywhere to store stone either. I suppose it could go into my tent. But I haven't got enough people for that just yet. What could I research? Bone tools might be a good one. Required for composite tools, bone harpoon, spear harpoon. Uh, sorry, bone spear and bone harpoon. Um, required for archery and sling, potential I suppose, um, dog training and, and dog, not really sure what I use them for, probably hunting I would guess. I like the idea of being able to hunt a bit better. Um, required for various things there, ooh, ooh I just don't know what to do, 
I want to do. I'm going to do archery, archery and sling. And let's see, sling making has been unlocked. Basic hunting tools. Well, I'm guessing it's going to be a bit better than what I'm using now. Let's have a look. Production. No, it's not in production. Um. Oh, okay, how do I make... Oh, I'm guessing in the crafter. Yeah, there we go. Slings. Which needs... Uh, it needs dried skins. Okay. So if I do continuous production... I might as well, because then that that makes... I think it makes one for each person I've got, which is basically what you want all the time. So at the moment I've got permanent production of all of these and skins. What have we got? Leather. Or skins. Ah. Oh. I was thinking that leather would be above skins, but actually it's not, is it? That has warmth two style one. That has warmth one style one. Yeah, okay. Well let's let's keep going with the skins outfit then. Oh, and it's going to start making some slings now as well. That's good. So hopefully my, my people will be better equipped. If I click on one, does it tell me what they've got? So you've just got a skin. I'm guessing if I if I give them a weapon, it's going to go into that slot. Oh, hang on. Look, the old man. Is that because it's a child? Girl, yeah. So she can't do... She's not a hunter. But this dude, he's got a wooden spear for hunting. And um, various bits of clothing as well. Okay, so I'm guessing as I produce slings, uh, that will replace maybe the wooden spears. Don't know. We will have to wait and see. Oh, where are these people coming from? <gasps> are these new people? Am I about to gather some new people? Oh, this is exciting, isn't it? They're a bit naked at the moment. I bet they're cold. Are they coming in to live with me? That's three new adults. That would be great. New human. Times four. Yes. So what are you going to do? Going to get dry skin. Oh, fantastic. Look at that. I've gained four people. That is like 50% population increase. That's amazing. Population reach. Knowledge times three. I've got enough knowledge now for another bit of research. I'm really tempted to do dogs. I'm going to do it. Let's see what that allows me to do. Dog domestication unlocked. Unlocks the domestication of dogs. Dogs will slowly come to the settlement and will help you protect it. Oh, fantastic. Great. This is going to really speed stuff up now, having extra people. Oh, that's quite exciting, isn't it? Stuff will suddenly start happening much, much quicker. Let's see if I can set a bit more hunting going. If there's anything around... Wow, there's really not. Oh, I could come right down the uh, the valley here. And I can kill... What have we got down here? An Ibex. Ooh, that's... That has potential, doesn't it? I'm feeling brave. Let's, let's kill a whole family of Ibex. I have no idea if it's a good idea to, to try and hunt a whole family like that, but let's just try it out and see what happens. I, at least I don't think they're going to end up hurting me. I'm going to need more food. Uh, let's have a look. How's my fishing going? Two. Product limit for fish? No, definitely not. Let's up that and let's up that. Some of your people have no warm clothing. Yes, I am aware of that. Um, but, you know, everything is being produced. So they will get it soon, hopefully. Um, I assume someone is actually working in here. I don't know. You don't. I don't see people sitting down actually working in here. Or well, are they going to go and do it now? You've delivered some goods. Hopefully, yeah, look, people are sitting down here. So, yeah, look, stuff is now being produced. It's the skins outfits that I really need. 
Maybe I should just stop that lot for now and just have this going. If I cancel... Cancel all these and just make a load of them. I want all my people to have a bit of clothing. Now what does this need? Dry skins. Yeah, see that's an issue because at the moment I've got lots of skins on here drying out but they're not dry yet. Well that's fine. I have to remember that I've stopped production on them. Oh look, we've got some hunters heading out. Looks like they're all still using spears. Got no slings going yet, but that's fine. Now, where did the ibex go? Oh man, they're all running away. Oh, and I'm going to have to go past the woolly rhinos. That's not a good idea. What is that one? Another cave lion. <sighs> this might not be a good idea. Yeah, I am aware that people are lacking clothing. I can't do much about it yet. Not until I've got some more dry skins. Yeah, skins is tricky. Tricky. Um, I, I suppose at least once people have got clothes, they don't. You don't need to continuously make more of them. Um, but it's kind of a good idea to keep lots in stock. So yeah. Right. Well, we're ticking along nicely. I'm just going to chat. I, I have no idea how long I've been recording for. 36 minutes of recording. Let's get back there. You don't want to see all that behind the scenes stuff. Right. I think that's probably a good point to um, to leave it there. We've made a good bit of progress. I'm sort of learning what I'm doing. Our buildings are getting built. We've had some new people in. So we've got 11 people now. And uh, everyone's freezing to death in the winter. So <laughs> it's all going well, isn't it? And uh, yeah, hopefully in the next episode, people will start g getting clothes and, um, and we'll unlock a few more things and yeah, more exciting stuff will happen. Uh, so thank you very much for joining me. If you've enjoyed the video, please do hit the like button and hopefully I will see you again soon. Until then, take care. Bye for now.